Hey everyone, welcome back to Bystander PS. Today, I'm not just going to show you, but we are going to create a stunning social media poster from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or looking up to level up your design game, this tutorial has got you covered. So let's get started. First, open Photoshop and create a new Canva. Go to File, New, and make sure to set the size to 1080 by 1080 pixels and make sure resolution is set to 72. This poster size works great on social media platforms like Instagram. So go ahead and click create. So guys, I've put the resource folder in the description. You can download and practice along. So to place in our subject, go to file and move down to place embedded. Locate your downloaded folder and let's import our subject. So you have these two images, one with the background and the other one without the background. So select the one without the background and click place. Now it's time to scale it. Make sure to hold down alt and scale it a bit. You can place your icon here and rotate it a little bit. Make sure to position it well and after that, when you are satisfied with the size and position, click this check icon. Now it's time for us to style the background. Now with this, you can either use a solid color background, a gradient color, or you can even use pattern for your background. But before we set the background color, I would like to share with you a bonus tips on how you can choose colors for your project. So to do this, let's head over straight to our web browser and the search bar type coolest. Make sure you have this interface and click here. This is the web page in which you can generate color palette. So you can even sign up or sign in if you have an account already. But if not, you can go straight to start the generator, right? We have some color palettes ready here for you but if you want to go through multiple colors you just have to press the space bar and it keeps generating colors for you one interesting thing that i like about this is you can sample a color from even your project that you are working on or a sample image so let me show you just go up here and click on this camera icon you have an option to browse through your pc so click here and let's look for our okay so right now we have here so i'll select this one the picture with background and click open so right now we have this color palette generated for us you can even use this slider to generate multiple or different color palettes for yourself but in this scenario i'm going to make use of this color palette to download it just go to next and select open in the generator so this is our color palette you can edit each color individually all right now to export this head over to export and you have the option to select any file format that you want so in this scenario we will go for image give it a title and click export so we have it downloaded now let's head back to photoshop now look for your color palette and click and drag it onto your works area now reduce the size and place it up here now it's time for us to set the background or style our background now we are going to make use of the gradient background so let's go straight to adjustments and select gradient now from the gradient click here and you can even choose any of the gradients that you want for me i'll go for basics and click ok so let me bring it down so that i'll get the color palette so right double click here now click here again and you have these two color options so the dark side and then or the black side and the white side so double click and we are going to choose a background color so let's go for this color click ok we have to choose another color for here so double click let's go for that same color by this time we want a little brighter color version of this so let's go click ok and with the angle let's set it to around this area 140 
or let's say a little bit of 125 and you can push it or move the gradient around to suit your style when you are happy with the outcome click ok so now make sure your subject layer is above the background layer now select the gradient layer and we are going to create a shape for this so go to the ellipse shape right click and choose the rectangle shape now create a shape like this somewhere here good place your cursor on this anchor point and begin to drag it inward to create a nice shape like this so now from the property panel here make sure to turn the stroke off or set the stroke to none it's now time to choose a fill color for the shape click here and make sure to click on the color picker icon now we need to sample a color from here so you can either choose this color or you can sample a color from here because we want the shape color to match that of our subject shade so click here and okay or if you are not satisfied with it you can still go back and increase it a little bit okay all right so this is cool so now press enter on your keyboard because we are done with the shape so now that we are done with the background and also created a shape to add a style to the background now we need to add some text so to create this what i normally do is to bring in my grid lines okay so first i have to bring the rulers you can go to view and make sure the ruler is checked or you can press ctrl command r on your keyboard to bring the rulers so i will click and drag and set my ruler here okay so i also bring another one somewhere here okay another one somewhere here okay so now let's pick the type tool pick the type tool and we need to create a logo up here so we are just creating any logo from scratch all right so we've created a logo from scratch right now which is really amazing so let's all right now let's bring in our heading main heading so to do that let me select this and this time around we are not just going to click but we are going to create a space for the text now what this space does is is make sure that it contains any text whether thousands of words or millions of words in this single space okay whether you have a little text or more text this should be contained within this and it shouldn't exceed the limit of this particular space created so let's change the font size to around 48 and let's set it to Montserrat black so let's go to the character panel and make sure that you set the spacing a little higher so i think 41 is cool so let's use this uh, like that so let's type, type something so like something like social media poster right so this is cool now we want to create some effect so for example if you want to highlight on a keyword so you highlight this space select the color fill and make sure to sample a color from the color palette so the text is too big so let's resize it a little bit like this and send it up a little bit good now we need to create another text which is the subhead now let's add the social media handles 
So let's just copy this text, bring it down. Make sure to hold shift to move it in a straight line. Else you have it moving in a different line. So this area is okay. Double click and just take some part of the text out. Move it here a little bit. But before then, let's add the icons. So go back to the folders. So click and drag in, bring in your social media icons. I have all in the folder. You can just use them straight ahead. So place them here, hit enter, resize again. So now we have it. So let's go back to the shape, select the rectangle shape and let's create a line like this. From here, make sure you have it down here. Like as usual, make sure to turn off the stroke. Select none for the stroke. And for the fill color, let's go and choose this same color here. Okay. So with the move tool selected, place it just on the line. And make sure to select this by holding the shift, select this click this and the text we hold down control and push it down like so good 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 so this is what we have right now so let me take off the color palette let me hide it for now very beautiful very nice but you can even play around with the colors if you want two or three colors you can do that so let me choose, bring back the color palette. And from the text here, highlight this section and click on this. Okay, now let's go back to the shape, double click and pick a color from here. Okay, and then this shape too, you do same for it. So let me also hide it. Let me hide the color palette once again and there we go so it's what we have right now for our social media poster so congratulations you've been able to create your first professional social media poster make sure to tag me in your creation and i would love to see what you come up with thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video